Liza's in the house. Cat's in the house. Darabin student. Darabin student. Darabin student. Yeah. So we're here to inspire you. When I say we, Cat is here to inspire you. We've got. Oh, you're just as inspiring. I'm so that. inspiring. I'm the. So today I am going to paint. Paint a little pumpkin. Which our workmate David grew in his garden. Isn't it perfect? It is very perfect. It's so very cute. we're going to take a couple of colours from the student acrylic paint range, uh, mix them up on our on our um, palette, and we'll do a little um, still life with this pumpkin. Sounds good. Yeah. Wow, okay, Liz. look what you've done. So let's talk okay, about so this. talk about the structure of it. Yeah, yeah. So I suppose to begin with, mm -hmm. um, I've been using five colours. Five colours. One, the yellow, warm yellow. Mm -hmm. um, the ultra blue. The red, the cool red. Yep. The um, the phthalo green. Mm. And some white. So um, initially, uh, we've put down put down the yellow background. Yep. It's just for a bit of fun. The yellow isn't actually. It, there's not a yellow background, but it's you know to begin with. And then um, and left the area uh, where the pumpkin sits on um, canvas. So, so you did so you left a pum yeah, pumpkin shape shape the negative shape of the. Of the and then um, the next step is to mix that kind of green, the pumpkin green. So, which is a mixture of the fallow green, the warm yellow. So, kind of mixing up that makes a really bright green. And then just slowly adding a bit of the warm red into it. So, it's kind of becomes like a muddy, muddy green. An olive green. Olive green. Olive green. Olive green. Um, and so with that, then you start to block in the um, shadow. So that's usually the one side of the object. And then if it's got a kind of a curve to the object, then you wind up putting it a little bit on the other side as well. To give that illusion of shape. Because shape. we've got this mm. And even a little bit of the shadow. Um, so then when you've mixed that kind of it's like a little bit darker green then from that green you do little offshoots of that green you mix offshoots of that green so either lighter or darker yes so you add a little bit more ultramarine to get um, the ducks and then a little bit of white to get the lights darks first darks first i like to go darks first and then you kind of you end up kind of going back and forth a little bit testing the floor to see how far you can yeah. push it. So you don't want to go too dark too quickly. That we've talked about this before, haven't we? Like with acrylics, you put you you put your darks down first mm. because the nice thing about acrylics is they've got the coverage that you can come in and put your lights. You can put your whites back over or your lights over it because mm. usually they're um, they're a bit opaque. Not all. And when you're first starting out and experimenting with this process, mm -hmm. sometimes you just have to go back and forth mm -hmm. until you go, okay, I've got it. Yeah, I think it's it's not even if you're starting out, like even if you're an experienced painter, you'll sometimes go um, uh, back and forth because you'll notice that you know one tone is a little bit lighter than what it looks like next to another tone. Yeah. Um, so. Cool. And I've also noticed, so that's how you've sort of given it 
given it form. Mm. But I also noticed like there's this gorgeous little um, piece of this pumpkin. Mm. Gorgeous little piece just here. Yeah. Which you have um, executed and made more obvious by bringing in that really slight line of blue. Oh uh, yeah, so I mean often you don't necessarily see the colour, um, that really intense colour in life, in real life. No. But to give it um, a, a bit of oomph and a bit of an unusual um, painting, you can add a bit of like a highlight colour that um, ultimately, even though that is actually a shadow, that's representing a shadow, that that kind of gives the illusion of depth. Uh, but also colour, you know. And gives it like that interest, a yeah. little tiny little... Yeah, interest instead of just boring and kind of yeah. black. And then I also noticed that that with black is that it tumps, you don't want to use much of it because it, it ends up looking a bit dead, like the colour looks a bit flat. Mm. Um, whereas other colours to create shadows um, make it a little bit more dynamic. But in the case of just this little branch, So you have to be a bit careful with black. Yeah. Just go easy. Some teachers don't like it. They ban it from the studio. No black. No black. Yeah. You don't really need to use it, to be honest, because everything has got a little colour in it. But I like to just take some chunks and little bits. And that's what you're doing, it's just the tiniest little bits. Just a little bit. And you're using that flat brush there? Yeah, so a little flat little flat brush, but most of the brushes I've been using is kind of a large flat and a kind of a mid-sized flat. Um, and that's with the tack one. And then yeah. And now what I'm gonna do is actually paint um, over this background with um, a bit of the mixture that Oh, that's a nice brown. colour. And so it's kind of like a tinted white. But what I'm going to do is let the background, let that yellow kind of come through, not um, let it kind of shine through, not cover ah, it. Not dominate the not, painting. Yeah, not dominate the painting as much. It's kind of like a little... Oh, this is a great little trick. I've I've seen this in paintings before, Katrina. <gasps> I've seen artists oh, do this Jesus. trick before. It's so cool. No, it is. It's great because you just get this gorgeous little, little bits of colour. Little bits of colour coming through. That's not so crazy on the eye. Mm. And it oh. also gives you an opportunity to kind of, um, kind of butt up against that beautiful pumpkin colour. So. Um, Would you say that um, you're getting another opportunity to refine the shape of it in this I would step? say yes, that's it, is, As is well? looking at the shape, if you, you find that there's some angle on the edge of the pumpkin that you'd like to accentuate a little bit more, you can even, because that is actually a shadow here, I'm just going to just lightly brush over it. Are you kind of you know, dry brushing over the top of that? Yeah. You're still letting, you can, so you're you still letting that shadow come through. So the paint brush is not as loaded as you have done mm. here. Yeah. So yeah, you're not getting as much. That's a great technique, I love dry brushing. And that paint is still like a little bit wet as it's well. It's a bit wet. But not too, like it's just enough wet to make it blend a little bit better with the... Because you're not trying to create a new colour here. No. Because you do your colour mixing on the palette, mm. not on the canvas. Yep. Although I am noticing... There's, there's a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, kind of really nice. Ooh. So it's those little tricks that make a painting sing. Yeah. I think um, Katrina is quite... If it had, oh, you know, look what she's doing there. Mm. Not too much. Not too much. Because then you'll have to paint over it if you don't get it right. 
So there's all these glimmers of um, colour popping through, even though like at first glance it, it looks at, you know like you're using dull colours, but you've got this yellow here popping out, mm. that blue we talked about here. There's a tiny little blue mm. highlight there yeah. too. Even down below here, the edge of where you yeah. think it's dark, there's still like a little bit of colour popping through. Yeah. Mm. Cool. She's a pumpkin. She, she is a pumpkin. She's, she's a pumpkin. She's a pumpkin. Okay. So that's great. Okay. Mm. So how to paint a pumpkin with Katrina and yeah. Derevan's student. Yeah. It's really easy. Katrina, Beautiful quality Katrina just shows you how. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So we need to remind them to subscribe. Oh yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. Yeah. So you just press that button and subscribe yeah. and then you get notified mm -hmm. when we do a new video. Yeah. 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 Bye. Bye.